Scripps chemist William Finical is a pioneer in the discovery of marine compounds with potential use as medications and drugs. Initially, his research focused on coral reef organisms, but most recently, his interests have turned to microorganisms living on the seafloor. Most antibiotics used today come from terrestrial microorganisms, but there is little potential finding new land-based microbes. That's why Finical and his colleagues are digging into ocean sediments for new sources of antibiotics. We've gone out into the ocean and begun to sample those deep ocean environments, bringing those samples into the laboratory, investigating what is present in those samples and isolating brand new forms of microorganisms that have never been seen before. In the deepest parts of the ocean, in those cold, dark, uh, and muddy environments at the bottom of the sea live microorganisms in very large amounts that produce new antibiotics. And they are exactly the same types of microorganisms that have provided antibiotics for the pharmaceutical industry for the last 60 years. What Finical's group discovered in the seafloor sediments are actinomycetes, a group of bacteria whose land-based cousins are well known for their abilities to produce antibiotics and are the basis of several medications. One of the bacteria currently under investigation is a completely new genus of actinomycetes named Selenospora. In biomedical tests of 100 Selenospora strains, 80% produced molecules that inhibit cancer cell growth and 35% showed the ability to kill pathogens. Finical says this level of biological activity has never before been observed in a single group of organisms. What we're finding is a whole new source of antibiotics, anti-cancer agents, and other drugs to treat a variety of different kinds of diseases. What we now need to do is obviously bring in the resources to do this. The pharmaceutical industry needs to be involved. New people, new procedures. We need to change the existing way in which drugs are discovered.